Hi, hello, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, I should say, because probably the people who are going to be watching this video are going to be people who actually know me. Um, I guess I'm just gonna throw the kicker out right now. I finally freaking moved. Yay! For anyone who knows me, I have wanted to move for years now. Honestly, ever since I graduated high school, I was like, I am so ready to get out. And, and things just kind of kept happening that would prevent me from leaving. Um, I stayed for college for my parents, and then I graduated early, so there was no point in leaving. And then I met my boyfriend at the time, and we dated for like three years on and off, so then that was an extra three years on top of that. So after the breakup happened, I was so ready to move. Um, because I had turned down opportunities while I was with him to leave just the general era that I was in, which would have made a big difference. But I chose to stay for him and then things didn't work out. So after we broke up, I went to this long trip to Asia. Once I came back from Asia, my goal was to just kind of recoup for a couple of weeks and then go somewhere and move. That was a little bit harder than I expected. I had savings, that was like never the issue. The problem was the fact that I was technically still an entry level employee. So ever since I graduated college, I've been working in the marketing field, but three years of experience still kind of keeps you at the entry level, like you're definitely not mid and you're definitely not senior. And companies out of state tend to not hire entry level people because if you are out of state, usually that comes with relocation costs. And a lot of times they don't even really look at your resume if it doesn't say the city and state that you're applying in and I didn't want to lie. Sometimes I kept it off and they would call and they would be like, can you come in for an interview tomorrow? And you'd be like, mm -hmm, no, I can't, I'm busy. So it's like, I never wanted to lie and put myself in a situation where the employer immediately has no trust in me. And also the other issue that I kept running into is when you don't have a job, you can't pay rent. And even though you have savings, apartment complexes most of the time want to see that you make three times the amount of your rent and they want pay stubs and all that jazz. So no job, no apartment, no apartment, no job. What I decided to do was kind of talk to some of my friends and see what their plans were. This is literally turning into me just lighting fires on people's asses, isn't it? Great. Um, so I had this best friend ever since sixth grade, basically. Our plan was really to move in like a six months time. So when I got back from Asia, I kind of lollygagged for a little bit and just did liquor promotions. And then I got a real job and we decided that we would move in a certain amount of time. So I would work at this job for six months, save up enough money, kind of replenish what I spent in Asia, and then we would move. Well, here comes the six month mark. I quit my job and he just fell off of the planet Earth literally ghosted me and mind you this was not someone random this was someone that I had considered a really close friend yes we've had our ups and downs and you know we were we were young most of our friendship so we did things that weren't necessarily the smartest but I always recouped and we always got back to a place where we always cared about each other and it was never like a spite thing so yeah he just fell off the face of the earth and ghosted me and then turns out like Four or five months later, he moved with his girlfriend across the country. So am I butthurt? Yes, a little bit because that put a lot of different obstacles in the way. And then I was supposed to move with another friend and like it was kind of almost the same thing. It was just like I was constantly trying to reach out and say like, hey, are we moving? Are we not? Are we going? Are we not? And I just couldn't really do that anymore. Really what happened with that one was that I just got sick and tired of waiting around and I wanted to make something happen. And I think that kind of goes along of my want to be independent and like to have things set out and to kind of make a plan and like go for it instead of like kind of relying on everyone else to do the things that I need to be doing for myself. So after those things failed, I kind of sat down and recouped and really thought about what I wanted and where I wanted to be. And I really deep down knew and then it finally came out that California was not where I wanted to be. That was never the goal. That was never a place where I want to end up. And really, if anything, those failures were a blessing because yes, I probably would have made a decent, you know, like move with, you know, at the end of the day, that would have been a move in the right direction. But I don't think I would have been fully happy in California, in LA, in Orange County, in, in San Diego. And really looking back at it now, I'm so thankful that those things happened. 
and it kind of sucks that I lost one good friend out of it. The girl and I are fine. It just didn't end up working out for us. So I have no hostility towards her. But yeah, I ended up losing a good friend in the process and I think it could have been just communicated better. But fast forward, so it took me two years to figure out where I wanna go and end up in the place. I really sat down and really thought, okay, like what do I want? What's my long-term goal? What am I looking for? and all that jazz. So out of all the criteria that I listed out, it was looking like North and South Carolina or Tennessee. And after doing tons and tons of research, I decided on Tennessee. So I am in Nashville, which I'm super excited about. I've been here for about a whole month now. So I'm pretty much all settled in. My room is all done. I ended up doing this on my own, but I ended up finding a roommate because renting a whole apartment by yourself is just like not efficient in the moment of time and I thought this was a great way to meet people and to really discover the area without just living in an apartment by myself and really having no way to make friends you know or like get insight from someone else and I got so lucky with like the sweetest little angel of a roommate and we just mesh really well we both love cleaning and she's from Kentucky so she's just like automatically super nice and super helpful and yeah, it's been an interesting journey. Um, I got a new job. I obviously moved. Um, I have no attachments to any human beings, if you know what I mean. And I'm just in like a brand new space and a brand new mind space. And I'm just like so ready to really be the person that I want to be and like kind of go in that direction. Am I tearing up right now? Yes, I am. I guess really at the end of the day, I'm like so fucking proud that I got out. <laughs> Hormones coming in hot. Um, no, I guess at the end of the day, I'm just like super proud of actually doing that for myself and things just kind of falling into place as it should be at the end of the day things just kind of fell into place nicely and that's what i really needed to happen i didn't want to push something and just be in a place where i'm not meant to be so i don't know what the journey here will be i know that eventually it'll be hard and it has been hard like leaving my family has been hard leaving my friends has been hard but they'll always be there at the end of the day and I needed to do something for myself. I needed to be in a space where I feel happy and like I wake up every day and I'm not like, God, I'm, in, I'm still in Fort Misery. That's what we call that place. I'm in a location where there's young people. I'm in a location where there's hiking. It just, there's just so many different things that I've wanted to have close by and it just generally makes me happy. Like waking up and being like, holy shit, I'm living in Nashville. Like, holy shit, I made something happen. I think that really put me in a space where I really now think that I can achieve everything. And now I am kind of just getting into the job that I'm doing and like settling into this place. But I know that there's so much more that I can achieve here. Yeah, I think this is a really good first step in where I eventually want to be. And it's exciting to finally kind of be going in the direction that I want to go. So that is the big update here. Sorry for the little like low-key cry sesh. So I Irish goodbye like everyone. Um, literally like 1% of my friends know where I'm at and yeah this is like the grand explanation of why I'm not in Fort Myers anymore. Because literally so many people have no idea. I left a couple days earlier than expected, which were gonna be my days of saying goodbye. So people have been like texting me like, hey, you wanna hang out? And I'm like, yeah, I'm not there. And they're like, what? And I'm like, mm, yeah, I moved. Also decided that it was, you know, smart to wear some overalls for the video about me moving to Tennessee. So yeah, thank you for watching. Yeah, so I just, yeah, thank, thank you for watching. Thank you for the endless support. And um, there it goes again. And um, yeah, I, I love you guys. And thank you. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. Bye.